Hey there everybody, Reload here and I've got a quick update for the Steam controller. In my last video when I did the unboxing and shared my first impressions, I couldn't quite get this controller to work with controller enabled games, like this Mortal Kombat game that I'm showing you the footage of right now. And that seemed very odd to me that it wouldn't work right out of the box. So I figured it's gotta be either a glitch or there's something wrong with my computer. So I went through all the different forums about the controller and then tried a bunch of things on my system. Turns out you really need to have the Steam overlay enabled in game. So if you do have this controller and it's not even being recognized by the game, check that your Steam overlay is enabled. And here's how you can do it. Here I am in Steam's usual desktop environment and I'm actually using the controller right now. And you have to go to settings, which you can find under the edit menu. Once in the edit menu you have to go to the in-game settings. And in there you'll see the checkbox that will let you enable the Steam overlay in game. I vaguely remember turning this thing off because I was getting annoyed with all the notification pop-ups. But it appears that the Steam overlay is a very integral part in letting the Steam controller communicate with the game. Another important part of the Steam controller is the Steam Big Picture mode. It's needed to be able to adjust the controller settings. But aside from that aspect, all the games should work now no problem even when using the Steam desktop version. To demonstrate this point, I'm gonna fire up Mortal Kombat just as I intended in my unboxing and first impressions video, but sadly it didn't work out then. So now, with the Steam overlay enabled, the game is finally recognizing the controller. Before that, this menu was completely inaccessible. But now I can either customize the controls through the game, or simply use the default setup. So far, I think this is the only game out of my library that is actually better played with the controller. And the Steam controller works really well for it, I have no complaints here. So now let's take a look at the Steam big picture and where we can configure our controller. Basically, we're configuring the controller for each game separately. I decided to take a look at Borderlands 2 in this case. And you'll find the controller configuration options under the Manage Game tab. In this window you can take a look at how the default configuration is set up for the controller. You can adjust the bindings for each button separately. Or you can browse through the other player's setups that have been shared with the community. The customization options for this controller are quite extensive, but I think I'm going to leave that for the next video. In the meantime, just keep in mind that you have to have the Steam overlay enabled for the controller to work properly. I'll keep you posted on any other issues with the Steam controller if I encounter them, hopefully with a way to fix them. Thanks everybody for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find this information useful. In the next video I'll showcase how this controller works with the PC games that rely exclusively on the keyboard and mouse. Stay tuned for the next one.